Good morning, Team Alabama. We have another Achieve 3000 today, and it the article is called Ready to Do the Impossible. Ready to do the impossible. I'd like for you to do the before reading poll once you find it. And then I am going to read the stretch article for you today. And that Lexile level is a 1380. So that may be quite a bit higher than your Lexile level, but that's fine. We may hear some new vocabulary and uh, you're gonna follow along with me at the stretch article and you're gonna uh, click to make it the 1380 stretch article. The vocabulary that we're going to come across in this article, there is one new word and it is called neophyte, a neophyte. A neophyte is a person who has just started learning or doing something, they're a beginner at that. A neophyte is a beginner. Okay, so make sure you're on Achieve 3000 and you went through Clever and you looked for the icon of the person doing the cartwheel. And our article again is Ready to Do the Impossible. And this is from Manderson, South Dakota and it was written on March the 1st. Manderson, South Dakota, home of the Ulala Lakota, Lakota people, is a great place for teens to practice their ollies, nollies, and nose grinds and kick flips. And when the pros come to town, fans might get to see a McTwist or a cabalarial heel flip or a formidable feat that's been dubbed for good reason, the impossible. If you're a little confused by all the jargon, don't be. These are some of the popular maneuvers and tricks from a world of skateboarding, a sport that's increasingly popular and increasingly important on the Native American reservations across the US from Florida to Texas to Washington state. Every week, hundreds of locals visit the skate parks in Manderson and the nearby community of Pine Ridge, both of which are part of the Pine Ridge Reservation. There, skateboarders try out their tricks, meet up with friends, and kick back and enjoy the camaraderie of the skater crowd. Lucky observers can watch expert riders hone their skills by attempting super tough tricks that only they can pull off or in the vernacular of skaters, Burley's only a ripper can stick. But the skate park in Manderson and Pine Ridge provide more than a place for skateboarders to hang out and practice their sport. They were built by the Stronghold Society, a nonprofit organization with a mission to inspire Lakota youth through music, art, and you guessed it, skateboarding. For the communities within the Pine Ridge Reservation, that mission is critically important as they face a growing number of problems, including a high poverty rate and drug and alcohol abuse. Stronghold's executive director, Walter Poirier, believes that giving younger generations a voice through creative expression helps them build confidence, a healthy outlook on life, and a hope for a bright future. San Carlos Apache Reservation in Arizona, another place where kids know a nollie from an ollie or a wally, is home to a thriving skate park, as well as an acclaimed San Carlos Apache Akiem Odium artist named Douglas Miles, who founded Apache Skateboards. The company first got rolling when Miles painted the deck of a skateboard for his son, the strong, striking design featured elements of pop culture combined with traditional tribal symbols, an Apache warrior with a sword and a shield. Doug Jr. hopped on his new board and rode it around the res, arriving home later to deliver some not-so-surprising news. Everybody wanted one! Before long, Miles' distinctive painted skateboards were in high demand, and his business ramped up from there. Many of Miles' boards are one-of-a-kind works of fine art on four wheels, and some have even been snapped up by museums and private collectors for hundreds of dollars. But seeing his work hanging on the wall of a museum means less to Miles than building community pride and empowering kids. His company opened his own shop, 
the Apache Agency Skate Shop, which is a social hub for skaters on the reservation. In addition to organizing skate competitions and concerts, the shop sponsors a team of talented skaters with the guts and grit of a band of Apache warriors on a mission of peace. The young men and women on the team travel around giving skating demonstrations while also teaching native and non-native kids skateboarding tips and tricks and getting groms or neophyte skaters excited about the sport. Across Native American reservations, skateboarding is paving the way for a new generation of leaders. While tomorrow's movers and shakers are polishing their ollies and fine-tuning their kickflips and tackling new tricks, they're also learning invaluable lessons about courage, perseverance, and resilience. Mastering a skateboarding trick takes a ton of practice, and some falls and bumps and bruises are inevitable. Skateboarders on the res are learning that if they keep getting up and trying again, eventually they'll land that nolly, heel flip, or 360, and who knows, they might even be ready to take on the impossible. There you go, guys. Um, you That is the stretch article for Ready to Do the Impossible. You are going to read your article at your Lexile level. You need to get a 75% the first time through. If you are getting something lower than that, then you need to check it out and read the article a second time. Okay, have a great rest of your day, Team Alabama. And make sure you get ready to do the impossible finished. Thank you.